Hi everybody, welcome to Half the National Average and Michelle's here wishing you a happy, happy Sunday. All right, um, Habit Hack 110. Can you believe it? 110 Habit Hacks. I didn't even believe I would make it to 110 and I still have 250 more to go to uh, fulfill my kind of internal uh, goal of 365 habit hacks and so today's habit hack 110 is kind of like a monument so that is one of the habit hacks always have little goals and little post signs and celebrations along the way and 110 seems like a really good time to celebrate uh, for an accomplishment. So 110, here we go. Now this week I've been talking about black swan. So 108, 109, I have my habit hacks back there. 108, 109 have all been about black swans. And so today's Sunday is 110 and I'm going to finish it up with my last black swan kind of, um, habit hack. So today is called we didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire, but it's always burning since the world's been turning. I don't know, something like that. Um, all right, so who knows that song? Hopefully you guys do. So I was doing my Peloton, which you all know I love Peloton. I need to buy stock. I really do. Cause I love, love, love it. And, um, of course, I have my favorite instructors and I have my least, like, less favorite instructors. And I won't be talking about who my less favorite instructors are because, you know, they do a good job. I just, personalities, right? And so I was doing a, a cycling ride this morning with Jess King. And she had, um, I'm lying, I was actually doing a stretch class with Jess King. And she had the weekend on. And she was talking the whole, it was an artist series and the whole, her whole stretch um, session was all with the weekend. And so she was talking about how the artist of, you know, the singer of the weekend, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, but, um, how she identified so much with him because she's a millennial. And she said that during an interview, he, he had said the reason why millennials identify with his music and his, his feel and his groove is because millennials are so Ang filled with angst and because this is the generation with just so much angst and thinking about black swans and thinking about all of the reasons people stop themselves from starting a habit or stop themselves from creating new habits in their life or stop themselves from starting something that is going to change their life something that they've really wanted to do. Some of the big ones that people always say, like, I always wish I could write a book. I always wish I could be in shape. I always wish that um, I could do the splits. I always wish that I could ride across the country on my bike. I always wish I could do a, a five-day hike. I always, you know, fill in the gap, but we're pretty average. I can guarantee you if you've always wanted to do it, there's like a thousand people probably within first degree of you that have always wanted to do it, for sure second degree. So her comment about millennials being the ones that really understood the angst, um, it just made me sad because it goes to show the truth of a black swan. So a black swan event, hopefully you guys, if you've seen Habit Hack 107, you've seen, is it 107, 108, 109, and then now today, hopefully you understand that a black swan event, it's not something that never um, either has happened all the time or that is impossible to see if you have all the facts. It's just impossible for you to see because you're blinded to the facts. Somebody sees the black swan. Somebody knows in Australia that a black swan is not a big deal because everybody knows there's black swans in Australia. Europeans didn't know that until they went to Australia and saw them. Millennials that don't pay attention to history don't realize that this is not the angsty generation that nobody's ever felt or had before. Every 20 year old who's ever existed has gone through something in the last hundred years that uh, it's just their first black swan. That's why you're so angsty. It's your first black swan. This is not our black first black swan. This is not our first rodeo. If you're past 20, you're like, holy crap, here's this next decade's black swan. So 
the reason why Habit Hack 110 is so important for me and for you, hopefully, especially if you're a millennial, is that I want you to open your eyes and realize this whole decade, 2020, how everybody's like, oh, just 2020 should be done. Just look at 2019, 2018, 1920, 1910, 1940, 1950. Look at all of them and you're going to see that every generation, every decade has its whole list of terrible things. So start your habit. 110, start your habit today. It's not going to get better for some reason for you to like some perfect utopia for you to start working on that book, working on that body, working on that hike across America, working on that cycle trip across America, working on uh, leaving the bad relationship, getting the good relationship, uh, having kids, whatever it is that your dream is that you need to deliberately practice every day, getting the better job or sticking to the job you have, whatever it is, you need to work on it today. Because what I did was I started thinking about all the things that the 20 year olds um, we're dealing with since 1910. Let's go through this. I have four minutes. All right. So 1910 to 1920, World War One, the Great War, the war to end all wars. They went into war thinking that they were going to be fighting the world war that was going to end all wars. And it just was the beginning of a ton of wars. Uh, 1914 was when Congress actually passed the law for the first time to tax income. And it was only people that made over $3,000. What's that like now? <laughs> All right. Uh, the flood of immigration into America. Because why? Because every place sucked. <laughs> well, not every place, but a lot of places. All right. 20s to 30s, we had the Mississippi flood, which was still to this day considered one of the biggest U.S. national disasters of our history. 700,000 people were displaced. Um, who even heard about it, right? You had the Columbine Mine Massacre. So Columbine wasn't just in the news when they had all the shootings. Uh, it was in the news way back in the 20s. We had the Great Depression. Anybody remember that? 30s, we had raging inflation. We had the Dust Bowls, one of the biggest droughts in human history of U.S. at that time. And major people were coming over, coming west because they couldn't, they could no longer farm. We had Al Capone, we had Hitler, we had the Spanish Civil War and World War II. The 40s, we had another infl inflation uh, boom. Houses doubled in cost. We had the first nuclear war. We had... World War II, well, was ending. Um, I missed it in the 1930s. Uh, 1950s, we had baby booners. We had segregation. We had Rosa Parks sitting down because she was so sick of going to the back of the bus. We had our first H-bomb. We had the 60s. JFK, blown away. What else do I have to say? Well, and civil rights and all that stuff. Okay, 70s. We had uh, U.S. invades Cambodia. Don't forget, the 60s, we started Vietnam. The 70s, 75, we try to stop it. And then all the soldiers come back to not a very nice welcome. And we had so-called love and peace, but it was just a bunch of riots and a bunch of hate and a bunch of meanness. And the 20-year-olds were saying this was the worst generation, just like the mill millennials are now. 1980s, we had mad cow disease. We had John Lennon get shot. We had AIDS identified. We had Ethiopia famine. We had Chernobyl. We had major corporate layoffs for the first time. We had major inflation and we had a major market crash. The 90s, we had civil genocide. We had war. We had Rwanda killing each other by the thousands and hundreds of thousands. We had Clinton facing uh, impeachment. We had major drug trades. 2000s, we had 9-11, we had bird flu, we had Katrina, we had major earthquakes. In 2000 to 2010, over 300,000 people died in major earthquakes around the world. 2010, we had the tsunami in Japan, we had the Occupy Wall Street, we had more mass shootings, we had on and on and on. So no millennials, you don't have the angst that Everybody doesn't understand. We all understand it. It's just your first black swan. So you're finally realizing for the first time 
It stinks. All right, so what am I giving away? You'll have to check it on YouTube because I don't have time.